1,000, Mr. Bill France, Jr. Thank you, Gary. It is now time that everyone has been waiting for to start the James Hardy 1,000. Gentlemen, please start your engines. seen now final few moments in the build-up to the start of the 1982 James Hardy 1000 classic race cam set inside Dick Johnson's car shows Johnson sitting at the wheel calmly the adrenaline would really be pumping now though Mike the two drivers at the front Alan Grice on pole position on the inside of the circuit Peter Brock alongside him both would like to be first away it would get them clear of the tangle of traffic, so they'll make a great battle for it. Right behind them, Kevin Bartlett. Immediately behind these two, this champion pair, Kevin in the big uh, Camaro. He'll try and get away quickly, get round them if he can. The Japanese driver, Hasemi, Dick Johnson, way back on the line in the fourth row of the grid. One minute to go. A last nervous tug of the chin strap. You can expect the big V8s to go hard from the line. Alan Grice will really put the, his foot down. A couple of drivers had to take care. We know that the Camaro is hard off the line. We know that the, there's Kevin Bartlett, what's going through his mind? He won this race way back in 1974. Johnny Harvey. Johnny Harvey, who's never won the race, would dearly love to. A delightful bloke, ambitious, chewing gum on the far side of him. We saw George Fury, his Japanese teammate, Yoshini Hasemi. Great driver, 30 seconds to go. The turbo may not be too quick off the mark. The Mazdas have to be careful of their gearboxes. They are a bit vulnerable. They'll take it a bit easy, but the VH will go hard from the start. 0 it 5 25, the Marlboro dealer team cars. The flag is up now. Stand by for the start of the 1982 great race. Engines start to rev. Flag at the ready. The start of the 1982 James Hardy 1000 Classic and Alan Price on the inside. Quicker than Peter Brock, one up on the inside, trying to crowd as all the cars make their way into the first left-hand corner. Moffat has made a great start, but has gone wide, so are many cars trying to consolidate their positions, and it's a mad scramble on the first lap up Mountain Straight. Brock trying to get past Grice as they go up the mountain. Here they come towards Mountain Straight, and we have a three-way dice going for the lead with Peter Brock. Alan Grice, Bartlett. Kevin Bartlett moving up smartly in the 9 Camaro to keep in touch with him. Then yep. we have Ron Wanless going through in car number 16. Grice stretching the legs of the recar Commodore, heading up to the cutting. Dick Johnson running in fifth place, heading this third group through. Close behind him, John Harvey. Then we have Alan Moffat up through the cutting. The steepest part of the track, a one in six grade, very steep there, severe. A hard grind on gearboxes, a full load of fuel. The adrenaline pumping in the drivers. Harvey right on the tail of Johnson there. Wait for the cheers across the top of the mountain as Sydney's Alan Grice leads Peter Rock, then Kevin Bartlett in the 9 V8 Camaro down across McPhillamy Park. And it's Grice E. Brock right behind him. Back then to Kevin Bartlett. Gary Rogers is next. Dick Johnson. They were then followed by John Harvey and Alan Moffat. Crowd rise to their feet as they tumble down the other side of the mountain. Brock right on Grice's tail. They've got Bartlett off by about 10 car lengths. Gary Rogers in the second re car Commodore. Then Dick Johnson. Alan Moffat sandwiched in there. 
first time to Conrad Strait. Grice is the leader. Very close to him, though, is Peter Brock. Brock is perfectly placed to sit stream and pull out and pass, which he may do. He's pulling out now. He's got a bit of a toe now. It's just purely horsepower. Let's see how they go side by side. Lap one of the James Hardy 1000. Grice is still in front, but Brock is inching past him. The crowd down low in the circuit where they can see they're coming to Santa, rising to their feet, and the cheers are beginning already. Breaking's going to tell the difference. It's a thousand dollars up for grabs too. Gregory's Auto Service manuals have a thousand up on the driver. Grice Who is going to hold this one. And Grice is going to add to the total already of $15,000. He'll pick up $1,000 as he leads lap number one of the James Hardy. But Brock, this time on the inside, comes up the challenge and we take race down from the car as Brock goes through to take the lead away from Alan Grice and the recar Commodore. And you were there when he did it. Peter Brock carrying the race cam. Got by Alan Grice at the end of lap one. There's the view out the back. Grice is making a charge up Mountain Straight. He's coming close. You can see that's the passenger's view. Grice weaving around, picking up under tow. He's quick up the hill. Now, now he pulls on the inside. We'll follow him through. Oh, he can't quite hold him. Side by side, they go the mountain. No, he says, I haven't got the legs. Tries again. Has to break. They're coming up towards Castrol Curve. Through they go. They went through fearfully quickly now. Up towards the cutting. Drops in front. Grice pulls out the pass. Comes up on the outside of him. Brock can see him. Grice is going through into the cutting. He's going hard and deep. A second gear corner this. A dab of brakes. Off with the brakes and hard. Who goes the wider? Brock in very close. Out wide to the fence. A little bit wider line. Up they come towards McPhillamy now. Up the mountain. And Brock is going on the inside. There's the crowd. And and Peter Brock getting a great cheer as he goes to the top of the mountain. Grice, though, still in front. It's a two-car war between these long-time rivals. They are using up all the track and a little bit more. And it's once again Alan Grice who will lead across the top of the mountain. And the crowd are roaring with excitement. Inside the car with Peter Brock. He's working hard. Now he comes to Skyline, a frightening part of the second. Down he goes. Watch for the gear change. Right up on the tail of Alan Grice. Oh, the pace is fearsome here. Standing lap off the start, full tanks of fuel, 125.94. Those speeds are coming down. The speeds are going up rather than the times are tumbling down. As these two, out in front, go hammer, 